Alright, he has one solo queue strategy for every single map in Rainbow Six Siege. If you have seen any of my five solo queue strats for Rainbow Six Siege, it's not going to have any of the same strats, so they'll be all different. And if you haven't seen that and you want to see some more strats, then, then check out my channel. I've done Oregon, uh, Cafe, Chile, and uh, Canal. So yeah, let's get into it. So for Oregon, I, I like to play Solus. And what you're going to do is you're actually going to hold this armory side over here. So all you need to do first is reinforce this wall. You're not going to do any of those reinforcements on site. Well, you can if you want to, but I'm not showing you any for this video. But what you also want to do is come down to garage down here. And then all you need to do is silent prep this window just in case any drones hear it. Any drones that are outside. And you can also like look for drones as well while you're doing it just to get some, some free drone kills. That's up to you if you want to do that. You want to also prep this window here. And you want to also prep this window. Then what I do is I open up this hatch. And I'll make a hole here. This hole here is to um, is to be able to stop anyone pushing master. Obviously th there you can see the master closet which is where the breach is where they'll try and breach. So you can kind of like push up here and try and peek the door. If they push in you can just kind of shoot them. And you can, if they try and breach from like if they ace it from the balcony you can actually impact trick it by like throwing an impact here. Like that. So yeah the, the main idea with this is at the start of the round people will come outside this army window and just start droning. So all you need to do is wait here with your, with your scanner out, you can careful for the door because the hatch is open. You need to be careful for this door. But you can check your scanner, see if anybody's here. As soon as you see somebody go on a drone, all you need to do is either jump out of here, or jump down in the garage and jump out of there. It's up to you which one. And then just pre-fire where they are. And you can just jump straight back in because it's prepped. I didn't even need to punch it there, but I did because I, I forgot. <laughs> right. Also, you can if you want to, you can prep this door here like that. And then if you come up to this, uh, this satellite window up here, this window here. You can do the similar thing here and just jump out of here if anybody's on the door and use this to get back in. But however, that is, that is a little bit longer and it's it's a bit more risky. But you can, it's still an option as well if you want to do that. So if, they, if you're like a bit of an aggressive player, these, these kind of things will work out in your favour because you can just kind of check for claymores, play really aggressive, jump out, get a freebie, come back in. And then at that point you can just sort of like waste the time of the attackers because they'll be trying to clear you out. As soon as you jump, if you jump out of garage, uh, armory and jump back in the garage, somebody's going to come to this double door. Or somebody's going to come to this Zulu hallway here and just try and kind of hold you. And to, to, to prevent against that, you can ever you can ever sort of jiggle it. You can ever sort of jiggle it and see what's going on. Or, or you can just kind of like head on peek them. Or you can even just kind of wait and let them waste the time of the clock out. Because remember, there's only three minutes in a round. So as, as much as if you're going to like waste their time to the point where they don't have a lot of time to push site, then it's a good thing for you to do. Like it, it, rather than just running at them and trying to die, you can just waste the time and, and have them less, make them have less time to push site basically. So yeah, let's go to the next map. All right, so for clubhouse basement, one of my favorite things to do is to play Valk and to to sort of just have full info of what's going on, as well as this little C4 trick that I'm going to show you in the in the in this setup. So first cam I'll put is in blue here. So this is simply to know if anybody's going to come down blue, so I need to be, if I need to be ready for it, I need to be ready for some, that kind of push. The second cam's going to go on the bottom of the main stairs here, like this. You can get it like to, to slot right in, there you go. And the third cam's going to go in this kitchen hallway actually, over here behind this exit sign. Which is, this is a very common cam, but people don't seem to check for it. Nice, you don't want it to do that. Like that. And it looks kind of hidden through the sign. Um, when you're up here, you can get this hatch and the other hatch, uh, the, the bar hatch, and make sure your teammate gets the blue hatch as well. And then all I do for this is I simply just play around site, and I can flick through the cams to see what's going on. I also put a C4 here, which is the kitchen door. So if somebody runs out of that door, or runs down this hallway, or even runs up this hallway, I just get off the cam and blow it up and get a freebie. Um, and that, that nearly always will get me a free kill, nearly every time I play this game. Uh, and then, so all I do now is I just literally play on site because I don't trust my teammates a lot of the time. If I'm, if I, I feel like if I'm not playing on site, I'm probably gonna lose the round. If I don't like make an impact on the round, I'm probably gonna lose the round, which is probably the same for your games, I would imagine. So that means if I put these cams, I can see which direction they're gonna come from, and I can actually be ready for it, rather than have to rely on my teammates' info, which is probably gonna be like bad or, or fake or, or just not right. So if, if I know they're going to come for blue, I'll pl go for the blue rotate and play towards blue and try and play aggressive on them. You basically trying to like, whichever way they're coming from, you want to be facing, which common sense. Alright, so now for consulate, I'm going to show you an Azami strat for the garage site. I've shown this before on my channel, however, I do use this strat a lot. So, you know what I mean, I'm, I'm just showing you a strat that I'll use in games. So yeah, the first Azami I put on the back side of this, but make sure you put it on the one that's like sticking out backwards. So you make sure you want to stick it on this right, right one here. And then this will block the rotate hole so that 
you don't get like kill from the breach when you're trying to rotate it. And you can and you can use it as cover to peek around and, and fight the breach. The second one, I'm gonna put it over here by this um this sort of table here by pipes. And again it gives you some more cover to peek the breach from. And you can have like weird pixels on the left and on the right. And and you can even pick peek around here as well and use the use this yellow pillar as as more cover. And it's just really fun to play around. The next one is actually a one way for the yellow stairs hallway. Um, this is great for like the start of the round because obviously if the breach is open you can't play here. But you just want to put it around there. And this will give you a one way on feet when they come in the yellow hallway here. And from the attacker's point of view, they have to be like, they have to literally be proning around to be able to see you. And as, you, as you'll probably know, if you're proning around, you're not moving very fast so you're an easy target to kill. And it'll just give you a free kill. If somebody tries to push that yellow hallway. But obviously you want to be careful for this breach not being open. You want to make sure there's nobody watching the drone hall as well. Um, if you want to, you can like use, do that and impact trick anything on the breach as well while you're here. That's up to you if you want to do that. Um, but it only really works on the things on the right side of the breach though. Alright, so the last two armies are actually used in the same sort of idea. They're both are what they used to create a one way. Um, and the first one you want to put is on the top of this door here. Like that. And the final one is on the back side of this wooden pallet thing. And then all you need to do is jump on top of it and you have an in insane one way to hold the backside push. People will drop down this visa hatch and try and like rush sight. And that, what that means is they, their legs are going to drop down first. So you're going to get the first sight of them and by the time they've dropped, they're, they're in your gunfire. And they can't even see you. Like they fully can't see you without proning. So they, they, they're just going to die like it's just a freebie for you. And it also works if anybody comes from this um, from this room over here. From like the, the secret tunnel to come through server and come around here. It, they still can't see you. They, 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 they literally have to prone to be able to see you probably. So it's an insane one way. And if you want to, you can hide a little bit of a rotate hole here to get, a, get away safely. And then you can come back and fight again. Alright, so now we're on a bank and I'm going to show you a castle strat for CEO. Simply to start off with, you want to make sure you're playing the shotgun and the uh, bulletproof camera and the UMP obviously. Um, so what you want to do is you want to come make a make a hole here, like a head hole. This is like very default setup in the in the higher ranks. And you'll but you also want to make a rotate here, and I'll tell you why in a second. The reason why you're doing this is because you're going to castle this off, but then you still need to have a rotate hole to be able to get through. Um, but it's mainly so that like this angle, this um, double door, you can't like stand outside of this square double door and see all the way through the side here. So it gives you that bit of protection. And what I also do is I reinforce this wall here. And then I make some holes on the on the side of it, like this, like this. And then what you, what I like to do when I'm doing this is I'll come over here and I'll make some punch holes. I get rid of that chair, make some punch holes here, and I can see all the way to the top of square. Like that's when they're running square. You can just get a freebie on them when they're running. And with the ump that has no recoil, it's it's just a freebie nearly every time you try it. What I'll do as well is I'll make sure these walls are reinforced. I don't reinforce them because I don't have a lot of time to do that. But I'll get my teammates to do it and I'll put a BP on there. So that the BP watches the long hallway there. And as for the other castles, I'll put one on this window here. And the um, the second castle goes on this window here. All you need to do is simply just put it on. And this will block the, the window in the lobby over there. As you can see, you've just seen it there. This window here. It'll block that while you're playing on these holes. So they can't really see you from the window when you're watching these holes. Because the castle is blocking it. So yeah, um, and for the final castle, I'll put it on this double window here. Just to give you a bit more safety from these, uh, them windows there, these windows. Now, you also want to try and make sure you have rotates as well, but you don't have a lot of time after you've done all them setups to, to actually do the rotate and stuff. So it's kind of just, if you see that there isn't one, quickly make one. Because um, you'll probably be in the round at that point. But just try and get your teammates to do if they can. So yeah, that's all for this round. Let's go to the next map. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to show you is on canal, and it's not exactly a strat, it's more just like a cool angle that you can use to get a free kill. So what I like to do is a spawn construction here, and I simply go on this roof over here. I can't remember where I found it, I didn't find this in game, I found this on like Twitter or something. I can't remember who, who by though. Uh, you come on the roof from, from the construction spawn, and then you simply just go over here. This is for attacking the basement as well, sorry I didn't say. Uh, you only go over the edge of this roof here. You, can, you need to do this with either Ash or Zofia, and you simply just open this window. And then you just, like, Zofia the floor. Or if you Ash, you Ash the floor. And this sees it all the way into the lockers. And somebody will play behind this locker here. And you'll just be able to get a freebie on them from the boot. It's a freebie. And if you can try and get your teammates to coordinate, if you get them to go on the window there, 
people will start like moving into that locker room to try and fight them on the windows and they just get them from the from above and it's a freebie. Alright, so for Charlie, I'm going to show you a basement strat with Legion. And to do this, you want to actually open up this site at you. And I'll show you why. You're going to actually play above. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to come up these west main stairs. And you want to put some legions of mines, legion mines around to help you. Put them on the windows, put them on the trophy window as well. Um, what I'll do is I'll make some holes along this wall. The reason why you're opening that side hatch is because you're going to be playing up here till death anyway. So by the time, if you lose it, like you're going to lose the hatch anyway. Like they're, they're coming for the hatch. And if you ha you need it open to be able to help with the, the side push. So you can see the breach there. You can see if anybody comes in uh, the wine from the door there. If you don't fall down, I got it. And then yeah, just make sure every time you get Legion Mine, you just put it down somewhere. That's going to help you. Nice, I missed it. And then you just want to sort of make some holes in the walls. You can reinforce some of these walls if you have enough left. It's up to you. Um, and then you want to come over here and make a hole like here. Sorry, there. So that and that's to see anybody that pushes up from this um this door and the the big garage door into the fridge. You can kill anybody up from behind the button from above them. And you can also put leisure mines down. So that when they pop you know somebody's there. So you need to be ready to check the holes. You can open this hatch as well. So that and you still see anybody coming in through the, the big garage door. So what I'll do is I'll start the round playing over this side so I can check this door quickly, see if anybody comes in. If anybody comes in I'll get a freebie on them. If not, I'll back off and play towards my holes and stuff. And then you can just sort of do everything you want, like up here, because you can you basically have like it's rare that you get cleared. And if you do, it's probably only really by one or two people. No one does like a full dining attack on a basement uh basement site. So you don't have to worry really about it too much. You might get wall bang for this wall, that's why I said you might want to reinforce these two. But that's up to you if you have any reinforcements left on your team. So yeah, and then if this if they don't like if they don't acknowledge you're up there and they stop putting site, you can just watch around the hatch. Watch down the hatch here. See if they're both pushing the breach. This is where like the sort of default plant spot is, or, or they may plant on this table sometimes. So yeah, you can stop all that from above. Let's go then. All right, so now we're on the cafe, and I'm going to show you a solar strap for the bar site. This is a, this is a bit of an aggressive one again, like the Oregon one was. So if you're not a really aggressive player, you might not like this as much. But a lot of the a lot of the time, ranked comes down to getting the first pick of the round. Um, so I like to do that by playing really aggressive. And to do this, I'll I'll sort of start by in this fireplace. I'll open up this hatch and uh, break this door down, like prep the door, sorry, prep the window, fucking hell. I'll also prep this mining window here, and then after that I'll drop down the, uh, the, uh, no sorry I won't, I'll prep this, this red window as well, I forgot to do that. Prep the red window, so you basically want to prep all these windows, this one, the mining one, and the dining one. And then you want to come down below, and then you can also prep this wedding window here. Basically the idea is that they're not going to have enough claymores to cover all these preps. Um, this one you have to prep by like shooting it. So, like that, and then you want to do it again a little bit, like that. So now, now when you want to come out and run out this door, all you need to do is go like this. And you can just run out and check the, the roof, and check the people on repel. And why you're playing Solus is to check for claymores, so you know which one doesn't have a claymore, so you know which one's safe to jump out of. Because a lot of attackers will run claymores, however they won't claymore everything, I'll tell you that for a fact. Not everything that you want to jump out of will be claymored, so you'll find something that's free. Where that where somebody is, you'll know that they're repelling because your team is just shouting at you, and then you can just jump out the window and get a freebie on them. If they're repelling up on the stage window, jump out, get a freebie. If they're repelling up on the the mini window, jump out, get a freebie. Your location has been compromised. Um, if they're repelling up south, you can jump out the way and get a freebie. And you can also prep the white window and the 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 snow door over here to do the same thing again if you want to do that. Do the same thing over this side. In the prep phase, obviously you want to do this. And then when you want to run out, come out, freebie. But this is probably going to be claim mode though. This, that's rare that that one doesn't get claim mode if, if, nobody's, if somebody's out there, sorry. Alright, so now we're on the border. And I'm going to take you through something that I think is really underutilised. And that's like the archives wall into site. Where, for the archives and army site. So to do this you want to spawn East Vagal. Uh, you want to make sure you shoot the cam. And you want to play a breacher. I like Ace or Havana, but... Well, you kind of have to play Ace or Havana because you, you need a ranged breacher, not like there, mate. Want to check for that run out, check for this jump out here, and then come up the stairs. It's also possible that someone jumps out of this window or, or peeks through this door, so you want to be careful for both of them. But what all you want to do is come straight on this window and just breach the wall straight away. You don't even need to open it for you, just need to punch it once and then just breach the wall. Because it's very rare that this wall gets banded, like really, really rare. And then you can just sort of peek straight in the site and start pressuring the site. Because that's these literally right down the middle of the site. The only thing you have to be careful for is someone picking you from east. So at that point you can either try and take east. 
or like you can take east with the pressure of the breach being open so they, they're gonna have to worry on site about being like shot from the breach you can just quickly drone yourself into east jump, jump your drone up here you can never leave it here if you want to get teammates to watch or you can try and take the control if you take the control they can just jump in here and you can put a claymore down and you want to cross and put another claymore down here these one this one can get shot to be fair you want to put like better like that um they can still get shot but you'll hear them to get shot so you don't have to like you don't have to be eyes on it because you'll hear the claymores get shot so you can just like flick to it so you want to look for the breach and then if you hear the claymores you can just check and then free beat and then back to the breach and like because like i said this wall it really 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 gets reinforced and even after that if you get like a kill on the guy in armory in archive sorry you can just get in the plant and breach you can just breach it like more get in the breach uh, get in the plant sorry get your teammate to go on and plant behind this bomb which is a really safe plant spot like this really free really safe so yeah under the next strap all right so now we're on the skyscraper and i'm going to show you a mira strat for the tea room site this is like a really og strat that's been around since the old skyscraper but it still will work this is good the good old yeah, geisha killer box strat all you want to do is reinforce this wall put a mirror on it and reinforce this wall as well and put a mirror on you sorry you want to put a mirror on this wall like this and then from this obviously you can see geisha here and then you have the shotgun boom 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 the the plan with this is to not play inside a geisha you don't even really need to reinforce geisha wall like the outside wall well you probably should still do it but like what i mean is you don't need to because you're going to make it into a kill box nobody's going to be playing in here so them breaching geisha means nothing to the round because they just still need to get in geisha and then have to deal with all the holes that you're making you want to make this rotate on site here just to help your teammates and for the second mirror you want to put it on this here but you'll notice that the holes right next to you, like, you can't play on the mirror. But that's not what you're meant to do. You're meant to play from, from tea room. Well, I'll show you. So from this this mirror here, you can see this. You can see in the gauge you can fight anybody on the window. You can also see in the T and fight anybody on that window. You can kind of, like, peek around here. Obviously, you can't swing off the mirror as good as you can swing off the other mirror. But you can, like, if they repel in, you see them repel in. You just swing around here and free, free fire. And, and it works nearly every time. Or if nobody's in Geisha, you can kind of push in and use the... And fight off the mirror. But you have to make sure nobody's in Geisha first. So yeah. This is simply the setup. It's really, really easy. And really, like... Good for controlling Geisha. Good for contro controlling karaoke. And you just have to be careful for your shrine push. Which you can get your teammates to hold. So yeah. On to the next round. Alright, so now we're on the coastline. And I want to show you a dock strat for the hooker and billiard site. This is a pretty aggressive strat, so if you want to like be able to hold different angles at the same time and like hold hold down multiple parts of the map at the same time, multiple parts of like control at the same time, so it's really fun. Um, what you want to do is you want to open up the middle of this these two or three walls here, and you want to reinforce the left and reinforce the right. If you don't know where exactly the middle is of, the, of all the walls, you can just shoot uh, reinforce them first, and then you'll be able to figure it out. So you want to reinforce the left and right, and then you want to make the holes in the middle. I'll just quickly reload make the hole like this and from this you can actually play here and fight this uh, hooker door you can fight the hooker door push and get like a pixel on the door there and then you can fight the hooker door you can fight uh, the the billiards as well you can like play behind the bar and fight the billiards if you push out you can basically hold like nearly everything you need to hold and i like to make holes here on the bar which are like really kind of unexpected and you also want to make the rotate here if you, if you don't have a teammate to do that but i'm not gonna do it just for the sake of time it's simple. Like, it's a very simple strat. You just want to play around this billiards area. Just careful for the big window. If they if they open big window, you can kind of leave. Um, granted, like, hoping they're not in VIP. If they are in VIP, then you're gonna have to kind of either fight one of them, either fight this VIP guy, or fight this big window guy. It's up to you. But you, you can't really just leave if they're on VIP. So you have to fight it. But from this, you can hold the hooker window. You can hold the hooker door. You can hold cool vibes. You can hold the uh, aqua push, and you can hold the VIP push. You can hold basically every push into sight. As long as you're like good at hitting your shots, so it's just a fun strat if you like want to play a bit aggressive. And you can reinforce these two walls as well, just to make her a little bit more safe to to be able to run around and leave. So yeah, onto the next map. All right, so the next strat on theme park is going to be a pulse strat, and this is to to a good, e a quick, easy way to get free kills in the round. All right, so you want to come down into this gong room here, um, and you simply want to just prep this door. You can just prep it by like punching twice. Like that. It, obviously they'll know it's prep, but they'll probably just think it's a spawn peak. You don't have to peek out of it. Um, and when people repel onto this ca cash balcony up here, all you need to do is pulse them, see where they are. You know that you're clear because you can check if anybody's watching because you pulse. You, you know that you're clear. You just, all you need to do is like punch it. 
jump out and throw a C4 under the, the balcony because it's actually destructible. Up. A lot of people don't know that this is destructible and you'll be able to kill anybody that's on the balcony. A lot of people will get on the balcony, think they're safe and just start droning or something. Because they'll like claim all the windows, so they'll think they're safe, they'll just start droning. You'll be able to get a C4 freebie. And then all you need to do is just leave and come back to site. You can come up, come up yellow if you, if you think it's safe. Or you can go back up dragon, it's up to you. And at that point you, you're free to do whatever you want to do. You can uh, play aggressive, you can just play site, play a bit of an anchor roll. Up to you. Um, mainly just about that C4, that C4 freebie. To get like a, a initial initial like double. Alright, this next strat is an LR strat for Villa on the statue bomb site. And to do this you want to play LR shotgun and you also need a shield as well. When you start in the round, all you need to do is make this uh make this rotate an astro. Simple stuff. Make some head holes along this wall here into master. This is so your teammates can back you up because you're gonna play in this master closet. You also want to make some head holes here as well. Like that. And then what you're going to do is put an element on each one of these windows. That one, the closet window, and the bathroom window here. And you want to reinforce these two walls as well. I'm not doing it for the sake of time in the video, but you want to make sure that's reinforced as well. And you want to put a shield here. Make sure it's not in the doorway, just like this. So you can peek around it and peek this window. And peek this window for around it. And if you have teammates with you, you can get them to give you ADS here. Like, I get my teammate to give us one, eight, two ADS, one here, and one here. And you also want to prep these windows as well. Like that. And do the same on the bathroom window if you want to, or this window as well if you want to. Um, or you can just kind of run up to it and shoot it and jump out. But it's not as uh, safe. So yeah, all, you, all I do when, I hear, when I'm here is to play really aggressively on the window. I'll just kind of swing it, because this will one-shot anybody, one-shot down there anybody. That's like close to the window. So I'll just like kind of just run out and spam it and get some freebies. This works nearly every time as well. It's, even without even without ADSs, this will still work, because like... With the nade changes, all all I do when I get naded is just play aggressive and get a freebie, and it works a lot of the time. If somebody jumps in here, get a freebie. If somebody tries to peek it from this window, get a freebie, get a freebie. Like it just works. The only thing you have to worry about is if they like totally ignore the side and come for the uh, the top red side. At that point, you kind of have to like use your pistol to come up here, and then I like just kind of playing close here with the shotgun and kind of swing out, or I can like shoot towards the uh, the other door there. So yeah, that's it for this site, uh, this map as well. All right, so now we're on the Outback, and I'm going to show you a bit of a frost strat for the uh, party site, and it's also a bit of a spawn peak strat. So if you like your spawn peaks, you're gonna you're gonna get some uh, some good stuff here. So what I'll do is I'll quickly spawn in, and I'll put um, a frost mat on this window here. And I'll put one of frost mat on the other window here as well. Is a common a good tip is with frost mats is to put them like a little bit to the side of the window, like that, so that if somebody jumps in, they might not shoot at the frost mat. If they're like, a lot of people will jump in and just start no scope on the floor, and at that point they'll, they'll shoot like around it. And I'll just put one here as well. Just for like the odd off chance that I might actually get something. And what I'll do when I'm here is I'll open up this window, uh, this door like that, and then I'll come around over here. The the main idea with this spawn peek is to, to distract them with that door and then you peek them from here. And you can see where anybody that runs around this from the spawn. Usually as well when you do this you'll kill the breacher, because the breach is right there, so you're on the path to the breach that the breacher will take. So you'll know if they're here because they'll shoot this cam and then they'll start running around and you just get a freebie on them when they run past. And it works a lot of the time. People will like be aiming at that door that you've opened. Because it's uh, got another common spawn because it's spawning from that door. I didn't mention anything about the shield or anything, but I'll simply just sort of I'll simply just sort of put it up here. Um right I like on this corner here. So that I can have a bit more safety to use the uh, rotate hole on site uh, to, to here. So I use this road at all. Oh, nice. I use this road at all, and I'll come play behind the shield and, and fight the shield. So yeah, that's all. I'm gonna, that's all the maps I'm going to show you as well. If you enjoyed, drop a like, and I'll see you in the next video.